So we got our catless downpipe. So we are going to install this today. Should be pretty simple. I already contacted the shop. They said they are able to do it. Should take a few hours maybe. So, see you soon. Let's hear the cold start. So we're on the way to get the uh, catalyst downpipe installed. So shop's a couple of minutes away. So I'll catch you guys there. So we just made it to the shop. They just looked at the car to see if they can actually install it. Confirmed. So we are here. And we are in. I'm gonna get it uh, all ready. See how it's sounding with this new uh, catalyst downpipe all this footage is being recorded on my iphone 14 pro max no tripod no microphones just raw um i will be investing in a camera or a tripod and some accessories to really uh get some good content out but for now we are using our iphone 14 pro max to get all of our content for the channel they got to the car pretty quick um they told me it was gonna be a little wait but not much of a wait sorry for the loud noise got a couple of chargers that don't know how to act like the one in there as well getting uh, a resonator and muffler delete uh, i miss that car man i used to have a charger scat pack myself and i traded it in for uh this m440 and uh the charger is something else but you know i got a family now i got a baby that i have in the back seat and i will not be uh losing control in the nasty weather that New Jersey provides for us in the winter. Lots of snow, lots of rain. So the all-wheel drive, it's definitely a plus for us. And we got the update on the car so far. So we have the downpipe out. We have the new one ready for install. But when the uh, VRSF sent me the downpipe, they did not send the head gasket for the downpipe to meet the turbo. So we are actually going to uh, see if we can find that. So we called a couple of shops to see if we can get that gasket. Uh, unsuccessful so far, but uh, we did call BMW directly and BMW luckily has one in stock. So the owner of the shop is actually on his way now to do me the favor and get the uh, gasket so we can finish and install our downpipe. Down pipe. So you guys, we're getting close. We have the downpipe installed. We are finalizing the O2 sensors on them and then we should be getting ready to fire her up. Then I gotta go to work. All right, so the car is done. It's our first drive back home. It did begin to rain, so I can't give it a, too much of a push, but here goes the first pull. Ooh, the backfire on it, it's much stronger. But we got to wait for the weather to get better. So for now, this is all. I'll give it a cold start in a little bit because the car is a little warm. Because I've been playing with it since I got it out the shop. But it is backfiring. Uh, all the pops just sound so good with this new uh, downpipe. Alright, so we are going to finalize the uh, last piece of this video. It's going to be the cold start again after the downpipe has been installed. So I'll let this car go by. And here we go. The car's still a little warm, so it's not really a cold start. But it has a nasty, uh, nasty start. All right, guys, so this weather is a little uh, funny. It feels like Florida it rains for an hour, then it stops, and it rains for an hour, and it stops. So I'm back to uh, give you guys a nice little pool on the highway since it did stop raining. I am on my way to work, so I'm going to give you guys a little pool so you can see what it's sounding like.
Alright guys, I will see you on the next upload.